Hi folks, how are we all doing? It's Dawood here uh, with your first uh, free training video of 2020. Um, I'm actually doing this because as some of you or most of you probably know, I've, I've just launched a, a new email related product called uh, Eagle Emails. Um, now, this isn't intended as a sales pitch for that, uh, by the way. So uh, what it actually is, there was a couple of things that um, I actually probably should have put into the training that I didn't that are actually quite important to know about deliverability and about the different types of email inboxes, which is which is particularly important. Now, by the way, for those that are interested, as I said, this really isn't intended as a sales pitch, but there is a link underneath just in case you do want to pick Eagle emails up. But um, what this is about is about things that stop you getting into inboxes um, and in the in the course I actually talk about the main things but there were a few things that I left out and one of them was about the different types of inboxes one of them was about subject lines and one of them was about like headers and footers uh, that are in your emails that can also affect deliverability even though they're not part of the actual text that you're writing if that makes sense so I wanted to just show you the difference between the two main types of um, email inboxes and particularly if we're talking about Gmail which is you know that let's be honest the main provider so I'm going to show you here this is like a traditional inbox yeah so this is one of my accounts for, for the elite tigers group now obviously you can see here that this inbox doesn't have any tabs all right so providing your um the mail that you send doesn't um go into the spam folder then if you send an email to someone that's got one of these types of email inboxes then it will count as a good delivery and it will ping you know they'll get a ping on their uh, telephone to say that they've got um, a mail has been delivered yeah so this is a traditional inbox however most people these days do tend to have more sophisticated inboxes and this is where you get issues yeah so this is like a configuration that more and more people have these days so what you've got here you've got four different uh, field so you've got um, a primary field so this is if you like the main in inbox then you've got social media which obviously is where you know notifications come from YouTube Facebook and whatever then you've got the dreaded promotions tab which is the one we want to avoid at all cost and which is almost as bad as the spam folder and then we've got our updates file um, now the updates is the second best place for it to go because it still counts as a good inbox delivery if it goes to the updates folder and what you also have to know is that a lot of people don't have all four of these tabs the most common ones for people to have a primary social and promotions and not to have updates all right so a lot of people just have one two three and if they've just got one two three then it's a case of either going into promotions or going into primary but if they do have updates then it will go in there but they will still get the ping on the iphone if it goes into the updates folder but they won't if it goes into promotions yeah so this is the one where as i said this is really nearly as bad as the spam folder if people have got an updates folder then it is really difficult to get into this um primary yeah um it's you know i get like hundreds if not thousands of uh, marketing emails every day and probably less than 10 make it into this primary folder so someone has done really well to, to get in there yeah um, so let's just have a quick uh, a quick look so if we click on compose here yeah we can see that I've got a footer set up here now my footer is actually fine because you know I've, I've worked hard on this but if you've got something like this this one is actually from uh, a company called Cygnosource that, that does the footer for me but you will find that if you've got other things 
going on here and other messages, you know, if you've got quotes of the day or whatever, all of that can actually impact on your inbox delivery as well as the actual um, the actual subject matter of the email itself. So a lot of people, they put a raw email into um, into a test email and that gets delivered. But what they forget is that when they then send it out with their standard template with all their headers and footers in, then that will also affect it. So you need to check that there isn't anything in any of any header, footer or HTML that you are putting on your emails that could potentially affect inbox delivery. Um, in terms of everything else like subject lines and uh, the rest of it, uh, that is pretty much um, as I've discussed before. As a general rule, you should be uh, looking to always run your uh, mails through a, a tester before you send them out. So again, in, in, in my uh, course, I tell uh, I tell people one particular place where they can go. There are actually a lot of alternatives on the web out there. So you, you want to be looking for like devices that um, ensure inbox delivery and, and go out there and find one of those. Um, but, but this was the main thing that I wanted to, to cover was just to explain these different types of, of inboxes that people have and, and that can hopefully, for those that weren't aware of, of all this, uh, particularly with these tabs up here, to actually explain why um, sometimes uh, people can not go in the spam folder but still have a result as bad as going into the spam folder because they keep hitting this promotions tab over and over and that obviously has quite an impact on their on, on their conversion rates and their open rates because people you know tend to be more dismissive of stuff that goes into the to the promotions folder um, so as I said that the lessons from this are always run anything you send out through one of the um, providers that are out there online that will actually allow you to send test emails to uh, make sure that you're going to get inbox delivery. Um, always keep an eye on the content of your mails itself. Watch out for headers and footers. Make sure that you also test anything that you send out with the header and footer in as well. And if that's affecting delivery, you know, either take it out completely or modify it so that the words in that header and footer are okay. Um, and then you will start to enjoy better results from your email delivery. Um, as I said, this is intended as, a, as an extra bit of training for people that have already picked up um, Eagle emails and for those that are you know, interested in the subject generally. Uh, Eagle emails is actually a very, very extensive course on email marketing. So, you know, if you are interested, do check it out. But I just wanted to record this um, quick video with that little bit of uh, additional missing information. And I will speak to you again very soon.